Did you have an imaginary friend? I did, yeah. My shit was weird as fuck. My shit was dead ass my hands. <laughs> on everything. And I dead ass called it Cosmo and Wanda on my mother's life, bro. <laughs> and I will dead ass go on the toilet and I will dead ass talk to them like this. And be like, I need some advice, guys. I swear to God, I was so weird, bro. You talking like this? I swear to God, man. I remember the day I let them go was when I was like fucking... <laughs> I was like eighth grade. I'm like, bro, I can't talk to him no more. Whatever. Eighth grade, some shit like that, bro. Eighth, or maybe, or maybe Jordan, younger. Eighth grade. I don't remember. All I know is I dead ass. I had a moment where I gave them up. And I was like, I can't talk to him no more. And then I was like, this. <laughs> <laughs> like, welcome, welcome, family. You're back for another one, episode forty. You're here with the host, with the most, D W Walks. And your boy Spooge in the building. You know what I'm saying? What episode you think it is? Episode 140. Oh, how'd you know? Did my research, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You the first one that got it right, bro. Did my research, bro. My fault. I thought you didn't know. I thought you was gonna say like 130. Why? So welcome back, people, to another episode of No Regs Podcast. You know, my boy Spooge, already introduced to everybody. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Post notifications. You know what I'm saying? It helps us in the algorithm. And... Like every podcast that we're doing from now on, we're going to shout out everybody on our Patreon. Subscribe to our Patreon. Links down below. If you want new, brand new, exclusive content that you don't see on YouTube and things that we might say is a little bit more uncensored. You know, we like on Patreon, we can say whatever we want. It's only three dollars. We got free tiers, three dollar tiers, five dollar tiers and ten dollar tiers. You really if you really love us, you know, come support my boy Tyrone. He just dropped one. and That shit was a little a little mooky. <laughs> nah, nah, Tom was crazy for that, bro. I was like, hold on, my nigga. Maybe you should uh should have died with that one. <laughs> but shout out to everybody on our Patreon. So first, the free subscribers. We got Leek, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram, Tyrone Bowens, Corey Petty, King Fry, and Tamia. Laquell Ingram, that is a very I don't really want to say that <laughs> Laquell Ingram. That's that's, that's special. A- <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough name. Uh, second round steals. We have DJ Khalid, Lee Long Pool, and Muhammad. That's the five dollar tier people. So I'm saying there's three dollar tiers, five dollar tiers, and ten dollar tiers. So subscribe down below. Everything's linked below. And shout out to our sponsors of the podcast, Seat Geek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code No Regulars on all caps. No Regulars, all capitals. N O R E G U L A R S at checkout. If you're new to Seat Geek, you get twenty dollars off of your first purchase over fifty dollars. Come on, people. You know how I many playoff games is on right now? You got the Knicks playing. You got the freaking um if you in who else play? If you in Dallas, you got Dallas playing. You got Minnesota playing. You got MLB games, the National Hockey League. They got everything. They yeah, got I'm that. Shit, I'm shit's sure going up right now. Mm-hmm. Especially the Mavs. See my boy Kyrie. I'm saying. Ain't there, is there any any uh music festivals going? Mm. Any concerts coming out? I think I don't know if Drake got a concert coming up soon. <laughs> Well, I do know my boy uh, Ken Carson got a concert coming up in August. Same, if you want to go if to Ken Carson. If you want to tune into my boy Ken Carson, tune, in, tune into that seat geek. Same, bro. $20 off. How much the tickets be? I bought mine. It was 68 for for. E- I bought two tickets. It was 68 $68. Think about 40. it. If you use seat geek, it's only $40. Come mm-hmm. on, bro. Mm-hmm. Tap in. Shout out to y'all, man. And if I see you in the pits, y'all know what's going up. Yeah, don't touch him in the pits, bro. Go for his knee. No, nah, do not go for my <laughs> knee. I ain't gonna hold you. I will. <laughs> yeah, I will step on you, and you will stay on the floor like a surfboard, my boy. Wait, which knee is it? Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> He's about to get cooked. You're going to get cooked, bro. I got no knees. Just know that. Hey, brother. I got but no knees. You haven't been on the podcast in a minute, bro. How you been? Man, all right, bro. Big moves is coming. Big pushes are coming. <laughs> Your boy Spoochie is a daddy. Yeah, yes, man. Sir. Congratulations, yes, to sir. Mr. Spoogie. Little Spoogie's coming. Arriving soon. Arriving soon. How many months? More months? Like, what, three? Probably. Baby's due in August. So, wait, it's May, June, July. Oh, my gosh, bro. Yeah. Dang. That shit came like this, bro. That's crazy work. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff is getting renovated right now. You got a new V. Yes, sir. He got the yeah. dad car. You whipping the, it. He got the, the fed car for real, I got bro. the police car, so y'all better, <laughs> y'all better watch them streets, cuz. <laughs> yeah, watch, I'm going to get them lights, too, bro. No, stop. I'm going to see if I get them lights. I'm going to be a dickhead on the streets, bro. <laughs> bro, yeah. I already have some people who low-key move out the way from me, bro. Why? Because they thought you was a cop? Because what I do, because my shit got sport mode. Yeah. And I'll be, like, pressing that shit behind somebody. 
And I guess they could see me press him. They like they just merge over. Wow, look at you. This man went from getting all these speeding tickets and now getting a freaking cop car, bro. Yeah, yeah. But how you how you feeling though, bro? You about to be a dad? There's a lot of stuff going. Just know, guys, a lot of processing. You will get a lot of. You will get necked a lot by your woman. The hormones the, be raging. The hormones be raging. <laughs> they be raging. Like, is it like like a big mood swing type of thing? Yeah, that shit. That shit's ridiculous, bro. And one thing, this is the number one tip I can say. No matter what, if your girl does not want to drink water, force that shit <laughs> down her fucking throat, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Hydration water, is key. No, no, no. Water. Like, you got specifically water is key for the whole pregnancy, bro. Why? She don't like water or something? No, she like it, but like, fuck it. You know how um, cravings be, I want a milkshake, I want a Coca-Cola, I want me some Sprite, I want me some orange juice. Motherfucker, drink some water, bro. That baby gonna have diabetes, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. Like, you haven't, you haven't. And, and a lot of, like, fruits high in, like, in, like, hydration, like watermelon, for instance. Yeah. Oh, that's good for her? Yeah. Watermelon's, like, high in, like, in, like water. She so. can't eat, like, raw stuff, right? Like, sushi or, like... I'm no. not sure. Like I think she says she can't eat crabs like like seafood like yeah. that a lot. She can't. She can't eat seafood. Can um, she eat like like a uh, like deli meats like a ham sandwich probably? Motherfucker, she had a bacon egg and cheese today. <laughs> but that's not deli though. You're talking about like well, like, like, like like a like ham and cheese or like a turkey like like yeah, cold like cuts. She, can she eat that? Yeah, she eat motherfucking Jersey Mike's. Okay, okay. Be fiending for them Jersey Mike's. Bro. Really? <laughs> what else? Uh, so like before, once you know, did you have to look up things that she can't eat? Like did you do, like did you do that? Or you just went like whatever she's. No, nah, I mean I kind of just, I kind of just figure out like what would be bad. Like, um, like I heard, gonna, isn't coffee not good? Like you can't drink too much caffeine. Like I try stuff. to let her like eat a lot of crazy shit, like that. Has like, she had those weird food cravings where she eats like pickles and ice cream? Mm, let's see. She had one weird one. <laughs> like, like <laughs> yeah, one. I think she did like pickles a lot, bro. Really? For one moment, and then she stopped. So, do you remember like anything? Like, she looked. You looked at like, what the hell are you eating? She says weird shit. Like, um, like I'm telling you, like she just had a crazy craving out of nowhere for fucking Jersey Mike's. So I'm like, my nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> like, fiending for, for sandwiches now. I'm like, okay, bro. That's crazy, bro. Like in the beginning, she couldn't stand, like. The smell of like fucking Cheerios, bro. Cheerio? Cheerio. Yo, I was eating that shit. She like, yo, that shit smell like Dookie, nigga. Like, <laughs> Cheers, like, hold s- on, bro. You disrespecting me right now. Cheerios don't even smell like that. I know Cheerios got that little, it got that little smell. Oh, to like it. like a little bit of cardboard looking. Yeah, whatever, right? Yeah. But I'm like, bro, like you, t- like you make me feel bad eating this shit in front of you, bro. Oh man. You have to, hey. and she can't be in the sun out, OD, when she's pregnant. Okay. Like, I think it's like cooking the baby or some shit in the way. Really? Some shit like that, bro. Dang, so in the summertime, you got to like... She's going to be hella shade. Okay, okay. So like, if you ever go to the beach, I might try to see if I get dead ass get like a tent. Like a okay. Little, little shit. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Look at you, man. That's cuffed, bro. That's tough, bro. What's the um? What's the, what's the the baby's name going to be again? Milani. Milani. Ah, I can't okay. tell you my last name because that's, op- that's Oppie right there. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> it, it's going to be last your last name, though? Yes, sir. Okay, that's tough. That's yes, tough. Sir. Bro, I really got like one of the best Spanish last names, bro. Torres, bro. This man Come got on, the bro. most basic name. Like he man, probably it's so, got. It's so nice to say it, bro. Torres. It's so nice. He don't even say it right. He says Torres. Look at this. You see his Instagram name? That's that's. This is what we're dealing with right now. It's, it's a nice last name, bro. So what, she has a middle name. Yeah, Rose. Oh, that's nice. Milani Rose Torres. Oh, that's. Nice. I wasn't even gonna say my last name, but fuck it. It's, <laughs> it oh, that's nice. That's Milani nice. Milani Rose Torres. So. I got to do a lot of renovating for my room. Yeah. I got to kick my dogs out, unfortunately. Ah, uh, Boomer can't yeah. be with them. They already gave me that puppy look, bro. Oh, like, no, they got, like no, don't they, go? Yeah, I'll be stuck with that little motherfucker Rocky downstairs, bro. How's he doing? He big as fuck, bro. Really? I thought he's a. I thought he was, like, small. Like, how big? He's small, but he big, bro. Like, like this? He getting thick, bro. Really? Like, he, he getting a, fat? He getting belly hanging. Bro, you got to walk my boy, in. My boy Boomer losing weight, bro. Really? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen on Instagram. Yo, you should get, yo, sponsor us. I think it's called the Farmer's the farmers Food for Dogs. I'm about to end. It's like, it's like, it's like not human. It's like human plant-based food for dogs. Like, you get yeah. that shit monthly or weekly. Mm-hmm. Um, you get, like, frozen little packets. Yeah, yeah. And you get to mix that shit with their food. So, what is it? Is it, like, human, like, human food? Or is it's, like, just, it's like hella vegetable and like meat like grinded up together and shit. Okay, that's not bad. 
And my boy got a little slim in the, in the waist, bro. Yeah, because he was getting freaking bloated, yeah, bro. Yeah, the quarter was losing a little bit of lumps. Really? Like, them lady lumps. Yeah, Jordan's dogs look like, if you ever watch Shrek, and he took he picked up the right, animals bro. and blew them up. No, <laughs> no way. Like balloons. Dude, that's what Yo, all right. That's OD. <laughs> that's OD. That's OD. You know I love Boober, bro. That's OD. Oh, that's good, though, bro. So, like, are you, like, are you feeling, like, nervous about anything, or are you just chilling? I am nervous. I'm just trying to, like, for these next two months, I'm trying to get as much relaxation as I can. Uh, I abuse as much sleep as I can because I really, I've been warned so many times, you're going to sleep, like, fucking four hours out of the whole day. That's not too bad. Uh, dang. I know, because they be waking up in the middle of the night, right? Well, every two hours is what I've heard, bro. Every two hours? Every two hours, they're going to wake up wanting something. Mm. I mean, you just got to get through, that's like, what, the first six months? Not even six months. Not even. It might not even be six. It might be like two. No, I think three. it might. It might be like two, three. Once in like four, four months. It might yeah. be some shit like that. That's not bad, bro. Seems like a lot, but got to do it, bro. Dang, a little spooky really running. Gotta be running around, bro. Would you ever bring her on the pod? I would. You would? I would. <laughs> That's tough. That's she gotta tough. get some credentials, bro. <laughs> get some exposure. Well, yeah. she's probably like one years old though. You feel me? Uh yeah, that's cool. That's cool. You feel me? Dang, bro. Look at you, bro. Shout out to you, brother. Mm-hmm. You're going to be a great dad, man. Ho- hopefully she get that luscious hair like me. I hope so, bro. She got to, bro. Don't your girl got good hair, too? She got all right. She had hair all right. Is it like wavy or no, is it curly? She had curly hair, but then you feel me when she... All that dying, ah. dying hair fucked her shit up. Okay, so that might be good. Yeah. Your girl's Puerto Rican, too, right? Yeah, but my, my daughter's going to be like, like mainly all Puerto Rican, mainly because my girl's like... <clears throat> she's like... 25% Mexican, 25% Dominican, uh-huh. and then 50 Puerto Rican from oh, the okay. father. Because the father's 100, her mom's half and half of the other one. Ah, okay, okay. Because like with me and Jay, our kid's going to be like hella mixed. That's Asian, black, and Spanish? Dang, that's crazy work. Hey, they going to have some good hair, though. Wait, you full, you full Puerto Rican? Yes, sir. Man, nigga finna have the mixture. <laughs> yes, I'm finna have that, that super Spanish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say ultimate Spanish. <laughs> this man, he's literally not missing. He got Mexican, he got Puerto Rican, he got Dominican. Those are like the those are like those are the main those ones, are the strongest ones, bro. <laughs> like dang, that's like Thor, Iron Man, and, and Captain America right there, bro. Coming together. <laughs> hey man, speaking of them, bro, you wanna you wanna talk about the freaking uh the uh what's it called X Men show, bro? I finally just finished it. As before the podcast started, we just finished the X Men show, bro. Guys, what is your what is if your reaction? You're not tuning into the X Men show. You are truly missing out. Oh, that is show. like peak animation right now. I didn't like the animation at first, and then I looked at it. I'm like, hold on, they got blood in here. This bro, is like, it's like it's like it's like a C, it's not CGI, but it's like a CGI like two D two D animation. That it's shit like. Is, Old school, but with like mixed with like the new school yeah, technology, and, like, and it's mixed with that 4K. Yeah, that, that shit is so sexy, bro. Oh my gosh, the bro. story, the story is pretty good. Story's really good. Nah, it's that way last better. episode. Oh my god! Spoilers if you didn't see that last episode. They they finally did what they did in the comments. They did the Magneto to the Wolverine with the pulling out his adamantium. That shit was. Crazy! Oh my gosh, bro! I, that, that boy was baffled. He like, the fuck just happened, bro? <laughs> I thought cause it imploded, bro. Nah, bro. Even even when I first saw, cause I ain't gonna hold you, I see him before I even watch. I was like, what the fuck just happened, bro? Like, what did I just miss, bro? <laughs> bro, like the fact that he like I always thought who like who be able to do some shit like that to who to take his metal out of his body, and they just fucking exposed it. That shit was crazy. That's nah, if you know, I ain't really too deep in the comments, but if you know, this this sets up the the part for onslaught. What, what do you mean by onslaught? Onslaught's a character. He's uh, Professor X. Yeah, I believe he uh, takes over Magneto's mind and really? becomes one or some shit like that. So is Magneto and Professor X? Yeah, in the same. But I think it's mainly Professor X control, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so you think that's what's gonna happen I, next? I believe they might be. Bad, low key. So that shit's oh, gonna evil. S- yeah. Oh my so god. So that shit's gonna set up a crazy storyline now. Not an onslaught's gonna be part of the story. So you think that's what's gonna happen in the last episode? They, they might. 
I feel like they, they have to show him in the next episode. Because I think that literally is what happens next. Like, I think Mac, Professor X runs up to Magneto and, like, grabs his fucking head and, and, and does that shit. Wow. And then it also sets up for Wolverine, right? Well, this might take a, make some time. Take some time. Because, um... Since he has no adamantium in his um adamantium in his body, yeah, I believe this is gonna like kickstart his true powers, because Wolverine's like true powers like animalistic like, like yeah. beast powers, right? Mm-hmm. That was before he got the adamantium put in his body. Mm-hmm. So now that he don't got in his body, he's like gonna. It was like suppressing his, his true powers. Oh, so now he's gonna like. So just I think this is gonna be called. They're gonna introduce it's called Feral Wolverine. Feral. Yeah, like he's like. Way more crazier and tweaking type shit. That's not the one where he has like the the things is bones, right? Yeah. Oh, that is. Yeah. Like from the movie, it's just gonna be bones because like, you don't got to animate him in his body now. Oh, so that's gonna make him. So it makes him like adapt to it, basically. Yeah, but like he's gonna be like more like fucked up in the head now. Oh, so he's just gonna be like oh, more... some saber tooth tiger tiger type shit. I think. Wow, that's actually nuts. Yeah, bro. I, I, ne- I never seen this adapta- adaptation of anything. So. so, so do you think they're gonna like keep making more seasons of that? They have. I think that they already they already um announced that they're gonna they have a season two plan mm-hmm. and they're working on season three. Wow, that's good. Yo, I'm not gonna lie because you know what it is. D- the DC animated like movies has kind of fallen off a little bit. Well, I I see the last. I think like the Crisis for. Yes, for- I watched that one. It was like. It wasn't. It was just okay. The animation. Th- that's what I'm saying. The animation. I, I can tell me by off. just looking at the animation. Don't, don't look. It looks look too busty. kiddie, bro. Like I thought this. I didn't like this one. Cause I thought it was too. You know kiddie. what they do? You know what makes it look kiddie? They have the fucking black outlines around them. Yes, bro. Thick as fuck. And it I don't like, like a that, cartoon. Bro. I liked it when it looked mad dark and gloomy, like, like an adult one? show, like the like first if, one. If you watch the one, uh, the one that should look so good to me, it's called Atta- Assault on Arkham. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I shit was that clean, was bro. fire, bro. That shit was clean. When they was all trying to break into like the 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 yeah, prison anim- or whatever. Animation like that for the DC is good as fuck. Like I don't know why they keep changing. Like they trying to they trying to upgrade it, but it's like going backwards. Like it looks uh, so mid. Oh no, man. This X Men got some. This X the DC got some competition out of this X Men. Yeah, I, I feel like they come up with a new, with a new animated series. I wouldn't say for Batman. A Flash animated series? That would be fire. Animated. Not not live action like that fucking bullshit that was on Netflix. <laughs> I ain't like that. That shit looked retarded. Which one? The the real the real Flash? Yeah. Which one? The CW Flash? I think so, yeah. Freaking Jay loved that Flash. Yeah, that shit was... Uh, you didn't like it? Me. <laughs> I mean, granted... Like, I feel like the best... The the best, like, DC animated movie that came out, like, like the... Like the latest ones was the freak was the one with the uh, Green Lantern, with John Stewart in it. I forgot the the that one with the one? rings. That was the best one. one. That was the best. No, no, that, that's not the best one in total. But like the last, the best one since this, about, like the last got, good you one. Got the death for Superman. That shit was so good. Did yeah, you bro, I watched all of them, bro, in order. Bro, I, I think I, I like that version of the DC, bro. That's what I'm saying. It looks so much cleaner. I like that one, bro. That shit is so clean. Like it just looks nice. Like I just feel like they're trying like too that, hard. Like that because it, it was like a whole little timeline. It was like the the War for G- Justice League. Yeah. Uh, Apocalypse. I watched that movie that like shit. five times. Yeah, that shit's good as fuck. My bro. man, freaking uh, what's his name? Constantine was so scary. <laughs> he said, "I'm out of here." He see this girl getting croaked and leave left. Bro. X Men. That is the new shit right now. That shit is so good. Nah. Tune into that, bro. For real. Oh my God, my boy, my boy Gambit, bro. He went out like Damn, a gam, bro. He went out like a G, bro. So dirty, bro. He went out like a G, bro. They did Gambit so dirty. That was probably one of the best ways that somebody could go out there. I ain't gonna hold you. Yo, for real, bro. Bro, touch him. He said, he said, he, he said, said you gonna remember shit. my name or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he said, he said Gambit's the name. And then the whole shit just glows up and blows up. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Oh, my gosh, yeah. bro. And bro, then, that just solidifies Gambit. Like, I feel like people were looking at Gambit like, bro, he's just some car throwing ass motherfucker that can't do shit. I feel like everybody likes Gambit, though, because the way how he is. Bro, Gambit cool as fuck. I always thought the game is some cool ass motherfucker, bro. Yeah, the I feel like he's talk, bro. Yeah, he's just his, cool. His fit clean as fuck, bro. Yeah, he got a tough ass fit. Bro, he got fit. that country little accent he got, yeah, like bro. a cowboy. Bro. <laughs> R.P. my the way man he Gambit, went out, bro. that shit was so tough. I never, I, like I told you, I never knew Rogue was that OP, bro. Rogue is crazy, bro. I didn't know Rogue, Rogue was that OP. Well, I think Magneto is so fascinated with her, bro. Like she can literally just touch anything. And, like does she? And she like takes her their powers or like what, what she can it? recreate it. Some shit like that, bro. Or like her, because I know like that when there was giving birth to freaking her son, she like took the 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 knowledge of like the doctor, so she was able to do it. That's freaking cheese. Like who? Th- Yo, that's wild. You know what else I found out? You know Nightcrawler. Yeah. 
Do you know the X Men mutant called um, Mystique? Yeah. She's well, you like, talking about the one that that is um, like blue and like shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that Nightcrawler's mom. Really? Yeah. So wait, so who's his dad? Magneto? Uh, no, no. It's some other guy. It's like some devil looking guy. Wait, well, the I, one from the movie? Not the one from the movie. The I'm one. Not sure, because I know. I think in another story, I think Nightcrawler Mystique, she shape shifted into a fucking guy. Yeah. And gave birth. Like made like sex with somebody else and like gave birth to that nigga. Really? Because yeah. I don't know if you remember the 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 old um X Men movies. I th- was it for? It might have been First Class. You remember? Was First Class the one with um Havoc and all of them in it? I think so. So remember that one scene where they was all in the in the freaking uh in the mansion and like those guys came to try to take them and like they put that that black dude the one that adapts everything he freaking put like a, a bomb on him he exploded. Yeah. There was one guy that was like he looked like a devil. He looked like he did like what Nightcrawler does like uh, teleports and stuff. He like was he pink? He was like red. Yeah, I think that might be his father. Oh my gosh. That might be his father. Yo, in the show, Nightcrawler was going stupid, bro. Like in the movie. See, look, this is what I'm talking Bro, about. He be speaking that literature, bro. Bro, this man is <laughs> he be speaking that literature, bro. This freaking this guy's like a German, uh, a German demon, bro. But uh, like, like in the real life movies, where you looking at right now? Let bro, me this see. This is his father right here, bro. What's his name? I don't know if they said it in the his movie. His name is. My name is Az- Azel. 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 Yeah, that's what the guy looked like. But he, he didn't have like that um that uh, metal on him though. So Mystique had sex with him as a man. <laughs> I think, bro. I didn't know Cable was what's his name, son. Yeah, I didn't know that either, bro. Like I'm like, what, Dad? That that junk had me lost. I'm like, nah, this is crazy yeah, work. So, hold on. Mystique is Nightcrawler. Mystique is who? Is Nightcrawler's father. Because he's. Oh, she transformed into him. What you mean? To, the, to him. Oh, and then has sex with somebody? With a, with, a, with, his, with a mother. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. So, I'm crazy. trying. To, that's OD, bro. Because I know Quick Quicksilver is Magneto's son. I don't know about that. That's what they said in the let me movie. See, let me see, let me see, bro. That's what they said in the movie. Because I remember they said like, "Oh, your dad is this is your dad" or something like that. I think Quicksilver is his um. But that means freaking Wanda is Magneto's daughter too, right? I'm guessing. Yeah, he is his father. So does that mean is Wanda movie? I don't know if it's like for certain. Oh, like comedy. in the comics? Like, they, oh man, they probably just gelled off me, bro. That's crazy work. I mean, they, they should it should it should be the same though. Cause okay. If you're just making shit, then you just on some other like, shit. Like, see, like when I was watching the whole anime thing, like I thought, like in the in the real life movies, cause like you know I'm not really into the comics that much, but I'm starting to get back into it. Like the real life X Men movies, freaking Cyclops is not that OP. He's nice in this. He's nice. As He's fuck. like the leader. Nigga, literally the first episode, bro. He did this that, was, he did a shit where he blasted the fucking ground. I was like. What happened to what so happened to what's his name Bishop? Did he die? Bro, they got, said they said he got lost in, in when they time traveled. Really? Yeah, he got lost when they time traveled. Oh my! Because I was one. I saw him and Nathan split apart. Oh, that's how I was like, where the heck did he go? Bishop Loki OP too, bro. Bro, I was, bro, it was so crazy when I found like um, the fucking Nathan. He tried to stop that um, Genosha from happening. Yeah, like, a couple times. Uh huh. I was like, damn, that's sad as fuck. Nigga had to walk up to his mom like fucking four times to see her die. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, bro. And then he freaking killed. That him. whole shit fucked me up in the beginning though. When they, when they when they swapped Jean Grey. Yeah. That shit still had me looking. I was like, um, this man too, se- nigga. He had sex with a clone. Yeah. So but I was like, bro, when the fuck did this happen? Did it just happen randomly off screen or some <laughs> shit, bro. I don't know, bro. But actually, I got a game that we could play or something for you for a while to build. So. Say the Avengers are trying to kill you, but I'm giving you fifteen dollars to build your lineup to fight against them or to save yourself. The Avengers. Yep, they're trying to kill you. The but, but, base okay. level, but base like, level Avengers. You gotta tell me who's in the Avengers. Though, just in case I don't pick them. We're no, no. I, don't worry. I already got a. I already got a list of things. So okay. do you? Do you want me to explain how this works? Yes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, five categories, and you have fifteen dollars to spend. So each category will be weapon. It'll be $5, $4, $3. And 
and you can't spend more than fifteen dollars. Okay. So you can't, and you have to go through the whole thing. Like you can't just pick the first uh, best three options and just go with it. All right. All right. So and it's just the the base level Avengers. So I'm talking like Hulk, Thor, Iron Man. What that I have to pick the fight against me? No, no, they're all trying to kill you. And I'm picking the people that's gonna fight with me, you know, right? They might be people. There might be just weapons. It might just be you and a superpower. <laughs> bro, I need like all right with Deadpool at least. Bro. Let's see. Let's see. So, for weapons, choose your weapon. So for five dollars, you have the Green Lantern ring, four dollars a lightsaber, three dollars a ray gun from Call of Duty, two dollars unlimited batarangs, or one dollar a slingshot. Wait, how much was the was the Green Lantern? You said five dollars. Five dollars for Green Green Lantern ring. And how much was the ray gun? Three dollars. That Reagan might go cheese low key. <laughs> like, I feel like that shit might eviscerate the Hulk for some reason, bro. <laughs> Do you want to go with that? Bro, I ain't gonna hold down might. But then that means I'm only have fucking ten dollars left if I choose the Green Lantern ring. I mean, there might be some good stuff coming along. You never know. I'm gonna take the Green Lantern ring. Green Lantern ring, you go, you're yeah, not gonna risk bro, it. I'm taking the Green Lantern ring. All right, me. so you got ten dollars left. So now choose your superpower that you will be given. For five dollars, the power of all elements, like the avatar. Okay. For four dollars, elite combat skills. So I'm talking about the best of the best. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna, I might need that. Three dollars, laser vision. Two dollars, bulletproof, and one dollar, talking to animals. I'm gonna need that laser vision. Laser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need that laser vision. Laser vision? I'm like Superman. I'm like Superman with the Green Lantern ring now, bro. Okay, 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 Wait, okay. Hold on, so how much is that now? It's eight dollars I have, right? Uh, you have seven dollars left. No, it's eight. Not because the uh, what's it called? Laser vi- Laser eyes is three dollars, and you had ten dollars, so you have seven. Okay. Okay. So now choose your item. For five dollars, a mind control helmet. For four dollars, an invisibility suit. For three, uh, for three dollars, a force field. For two dollars, unlimited flashbangs. Or for one dollar, bear spray. Unlimited uh, flashbangs sounds crazy, <laughs> yo. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? I'm gonna need those flashbangs. No, like, no way. Unlimited? <laughs> yes. Bro, I could probably with my Green Lantern ring grab like a fucking dumpster that shit and just. Throw that <laughs> shit all together, bro. It's gonna fucking disorient all of them niggas, bro. Unlimited. Okay, so you're taking unlimited flashbangs over like and visit like the force field, bro. I have I, I had the Green Lantern ring. I can make a force field. Maybe a mind control helmet. But I don't need that shit, bro. Invisibility bro, I suit. Got that combat. I look, look, need some fighting skills. Nah, you you already got. So you got lantern ring, you got laser eyes, and now you got limited flashbangs. Unlimited flashbangs. I'm taking it, bro. All right, now. That's, I, have like, I have like what, like three dollars left for some shit. You have actually five dollars. Oh, wow, All right, so now choose your hideout, right? For five dollars, the Bat Cave. Four dollars, a oil rig. Three dollars, a zoo. Two dollars, a New York City apartment, or one dollar, a dumpster. Bat Cave. You're gonna pick the Bat Cave. It's over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my contingency plan to beat the Avengers, bro. Okay, so I'm letting you know. Wait, hold on. How much? Wait, is there another category after this? There's another category, so you can't pick the bat cave because you only have. Uh, wait, let me make sure how much you got. You have five. I'm not picking the fucking oil rig, bro. Yeah. You might you might go crazy with the oil rig because they might it might take them a minute to get there. By making that tea. Imagine it just explodes. Yo, chill, bro. <laughs> <Stop now>. <laughs> 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 no, my dad's making tea. All right, what's the oil rig? You have ten dollars. All right, what's the oil, oil rig, bro? You gotta take. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure. Let me make sure how much you got, so I can, you can know. So you have ten, seven, uh, five. Okay, for oil rig for four dollars. So whatever you pick, you don't. Are you sure? What's the other one? I was, I, what's the least cheap cheapest? Nah, one? you just gotta. You have to pick and then go. With the, what's next? Wait, oh, what, the, what's the cheapest? What's after oil rig? A zoo. So you have animals in there. It was after that one. A New York City apartment. <laughs> we just be getting clipped in the fucking. Adventures. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like the zoo might be the clutch place for some reason. Who gonna fucking look at a zoo? I don't know. I'm picking that zoo, bro. You gonna pick a zoo? I'm All right, so you have zoo, two dollars left. About to hide in the penguins cave, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so want me to tell you the last and final category was is your partner who's oh. gonna help you. So 
what you can't have or what you could have had for five dollars omni man oh that's crazy for four dollars deadpool no way bro <laughs> no way that's tough <laughs> you could have wait had... how much i got got left <laughs> You got two dollars. Damn. For three dollars. I should have took that one dollar place, bro. <laughs> For Fucking a New York apartment. <laughs> no, one dollar was a dumpster. For three dollars, Green Arrow. Two dollars. Wait. Two dollars, Michael Myers, and one dollar P. Diddy. One dollar for <laughs> P. Diddy? <laughs> bro. So you can either get Mike Myers or P. Diddy. <laughs> Michael Myers ain't gonna do shit. If you got to fight the Hulk. <laughs> but you got to think about it. You have laser vision, a lantern ring, unlimited flashbangs, and the zoo. So you might... If you I was to choose the dumpster, how much money would I have? I mean, you can't now, but if you were, you would have had $4. So you would have had Deadpool. I can't change it, bro. No. <laughs> Yo. No, nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. And I said this in the beginning. I said, bro, I, want, I need Deadpool, bro. That's tough. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he's either Michael Myers or P. Diddy, brother. <laughs> I think that's only one correct option. I'm about to get two P. Diddy's, bro. What you mean, two P. Diddy's? You could get two, <laughs> two <laughs> P. Diddy's, bro. You want distraction? <laughs> what they gonna do? <laughs> they gonna distract, bro. And then you gonna you gonna I come behind come them? To my Diddy party, bro. <laughs> so you gonna pick P. Diddy? I'm picking two P. Diddy's, bro. Okay, I let him double it just cause. Bro, I had two dollars. Oh, yeah, you got two dollars. So you get two, so I get two P Diddy's, bro. <laughs> you could have done something with Mike Myers. You know that, right? Bro, what is he gonna do? I mean, he's strong. He could get out that's like Hawkeye. It, but then he's gonna try to fight, and then that's it, bro. Hawkeye well, and got two Mook motherfuckers. I could probably distract these motherfuckers <laughs> while I'm throwing these flashbangs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's just gonna be. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. give me them two pit ditties, bro. Man, it's just gonna be throwing flashbangs like they're freaking like. Bro, and then I'm gonna like just have garbage. I see Green Lantern, brother. Fucking uh, they can have machine guns, bro. Do 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 do. I'm gonna start blasting motherfuckers. <laughs> RPG. And you got laser vision. The only only issue is really gonna be the Hulk, bro. I mean, say I thought the Reagan would have really fucking eviscerated him, bro. I mean, you got laser eyes, so that might do some damage. Oh, I forgot. So, that might help. But if he, you would've got the ray gun he and He fought la- motherfuckers with laser vision before, so I think he'd be... He'll be... Yeah, I think he might be He'd cooked. be okay, bro. That ray gun, it's just... It just... It has that... That... That manufacturer part of it, you feel me? <laughs> that... That, that, that ray created. has that ray in it, you feel me? That ray got that ray. I know what you it mean. I know exactly it, what bro. you mean, bro. He got that splash damage. <laughs> I don't know what he means by that. He said splash damage. Bro, because look, if you didn't call, if you play zombie, if you know, if you play Call of Duty, right, you play zombie, and you got the ray gun, if you shoot the floor and it hurts you, it's called splash damage. Ah, okay. I know you know what you mean? mean? Yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah. I got, I got another question, right? So there's an alien invasion happening right now, and you must choose one hero to come and save the world. But whatever hero you choose, their super villain will come to Earth as well. Who are you choosing? <laughs> so if you choose Goku... Whoever, whichever one of them villains is going to come cooked, to Earth. Yo, they cooked though, regardless if I'm picking Goku, but I'll be too easy for Bro, them. no, that's, first of all, they're going to destroy the world. You're not living in that. I'm letting you know that now. If I pick Goku, right? If Cell comes in here, you're dead. If I pick Goku, and then Frieza comes. Or it could be Cell. Nah, nah, it got to be someone that's current right now. That's not, that's a lie. Okay. And currently, right now in Dragon Ball, Frieza is alive and he's actually the strongest motherfucker. So that might be bad. That might be very terrible, but that's a shot I might be willing to take, though. Why? <laughs> so Goku got to fight Frieza and the aliens. So what am I going? I'm gonna just, I'm just be there. You're just there, hoping and praying he saves the saves the day. Bro, I think I think my man Goku could do it all, bro. No, I don't think he's doing it. He got to fight the alien invasion, and I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna touch him. And then he got to fight Black Frieza. I'd rather pick freaking Iron Man, bro. Who's his nemesis? Thanos. That's a that's just a double alien invasion. That's just double. That's not bad. Well, if he comes with a fucking Infinity Gauntlet, then we're cooked. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully he doesn't. That's why I don't want to pick him because, like, if you if fucking Thanos comes with the Infinity Gauntlet, all all the stones. How about Spider Man? He don't got that good of his villain's kind of mid, but can he defeat? (laughs) That's crazy. What villain could pop up? That that won't be. Oh, uh, ooh, be. Sandman. Just gotta get ooh. a gallon of water, right? Oh, uh, go- Green Goblin. 
Like what? Like there's not like honestly. But at the same time, he got to fight the alien invasion. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think he could. Dist- you got to give someone like fucking Goku, Superman, or Omni Man. I could fucking just do a whole bunch at once, bro. Or maybe Superman. The Flash. If Superman comes, who's gonna come? Doomsday or or freaking Nah. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. To everybody, no Doomsday, bro. How about Thor? Who will fucking come? Who's uh, his, who's his villain? Is it Loki? Loki. Loki could probably Hera, Loki, his sister, right? Yeah, maybe he, she's stronger than him though. I know. I don't like that. Okay, Do you know, they, no, you know who? Oh wait, Loki. Well, Batman be a good invert. He'll be. He might be solid. Cause then the Joker just got worried about the Joker. Yeah, but like, is Batman really gonna stop an alien invasion? Bro, Batman got a suit called the Hell the Hell Suit Bat Suit. Oh yeah, he does have. So that he could just cook niggas up with that shit. Oh, that is true. Now I ain't gonna lie, you cooking. I was gonna say, I was gonna say the Hulk. But on. if it's a certain version of the Joker, if you want to be technical, now like what the freaking the uh, Joker who laughs. Yeah, no, there's no way we're living that. Nah, see, that, look, that nah, man, nah, nah. Hold on, I'm about to cook real quick, right? Who you about there's to a say? version of Batman, right, that has the Doomsday Vibers in his pocket. And he transformed himself into Doomsday. But then you also had the chance of him turning on you. That's what I'm saying. No. I was going to say, how about Hulk? Abomination? That's not that bad. That is bad. That's terrible. But I mean, like, I think Hulk could beat Abomination. But I feel like you need someone that can fly, that could cover more ground. Oh, uh, yeah. Hulk, he got that super drum, but he can't cover hella ground to, to, to maneuver everywhere, bro. Yeah, he can't, like, knock he down needs, the like, UFOs a and stuff. Flash might be valid too, and then reverse. No, reverse flash, and now we're now the whole timeline messed up. Like, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way, bro. Bro, you might have to, I might have to take my chance to be ahead of us. Might say, uh, I can't pick Superman, bro. You gotta be their nemesis, right? Yes, their, their nemesis. nemesis. I mean, Loki, if it's Superman, it might just be Lex Luthor. Brother, he 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 booty. He gonna have that fucking green suit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that green mecha suit ain't doing shit. Hey, that's what I'm saying. It might help us. Bro, I'm gonna have to pick Goku probably. I'm picking, I'm picking Batman. I like that. I like that analogy. At least if it's Joker, so I'm saying he might, ha- he might have a con- contingency plan to like, uh, what can I say? Like, but like, how would he get rid of all the fucking aliens? Bro, that's the issue. I mean, you just give Batman some prep time. He's gonna figure it out. That's right? like, that's like you, that's like you playing a game right, and you're fighting the boss, and they're spawning their fodder, their fodder enemies around you as you're trying to fight them at the same time. Yeah, I know. That's annoying, bro. But I, I'll take my chances. Go, go. Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might have picked Batman. I'm like, bro, if you're going to fight, bro, give me one in your suits so I can also help you take these aliens down. You're going to help them? I got no, you. No, I bro. want you to keep me in the Batcave and <laughs> safe. Like, I don't want to help. <laughs> Hell right, no. Bro, my, 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 my picks are Batman. And Goku? Or Goku. Okay. I like the I picks. Take my, I got to take my chances, bro. I like the picks. I like Put the picks. Put my faith in Goku. He could probably do the motherfucking spirit bomb. You feel me? Him and the... Yo, you're, they're going to die. We're going to die. Spirit bomb, bro. You're gonna you're gonna see that spirit bomb for the first time, and then you're cooked. Like, unless he's you could throw it up, bro, or he could like maybe just blow up the planet real quick. Blow up our planet? Yeah, we just go back in time for like three minutes. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Bat- Batman might be the safer option though. I'm saying I'm I don't want to fight Freezer them, bro. Freezer and aliens? Nah, I'm cool. You got anything to talk about before? I got one last uh, question for superheroes. Iron Man is trying to kill you. Choose one of these heroes to protect you. All right. Iron Man trying to kill Iron you. Man. Okay. Like, bloodlust Iron Man. He wants you dead, like, immediately. Okay. We have Cyclops, Daredevil, Luke Cage, or Human Torch. Who are you picking? Part of Human Torch. Human Torch? Nah. Loki, I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick. It Cyclops? Yeah, I'm going to pick Cyclops. I feel like Cyclops can hold it down, Loki. Bro, he just got that fucking strong-ass beam. My Iron Man don't got a beam. I mean, like, freaking Human Torch is fire. Bro, but at least he can fly. He can't pick you up, like. <laughs> well, he could probably grab his suit and just make it excruciating hot, bro. And then Iron Man's just gonna cool him down. He gonna spray him with some. He probably he probably got that extinguisher on. Yeah, his like you suit. know he got the extinguisher on. At least Cyclops he's just gonna hit him with a ray, like. Yo, nah, Cyclops might be a good option. I'm saying Cyclops, Daredevil is cooked. There's no way he's freaking. He ain't doing shit. Fucking. He gonna, he gonna kick him. Luke Cage. I can't even see. Luke Cage might be good because I just stand behind him. Luke Cage is good because his he got indestructible skin. Yeah. So it's not that he's immortal, it's just nothing probably freaking. Can, he probably can't do nothing to that nigga. I'm saying I just stand behind because he do something to Iron Man. Maybe he has to wait for a moment of him to get on the ground. 
I know. Well, you can't fly. He's just going to be sitting there. <laughs> just pace Come it back down. and forth. Just pace it back and forth. Just look as the bullet's hitting him. That's the only reason why I put him in there. Just because Iron Man got bullets. He's Cyclops got to charge up the, sh- the, the meanest beam of a fucking existence. I know. But if he misses, though, he's done. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's a high chance of him missing, bro. But out of everybody here, I'd rather Cyclops, man, he, though. He got that traversal, bro. He got that movement, bro. Oh, man. Isn't I'm it- saying... Fucking uh, Human Torch might be the best option. Nah, I, I'm still going with Cyclops, bro. I feel like Human Torch is there's limitations to Cuz. Bro, no, bro. You gotta put faith in him, bro. I don't, I don't got faith in Cuz. I got Human Torch, bro. I'm gonna pick Cyclops. I got Human Torch. Has bro. there ever been like a, a a Marvel like comic where like they turned on each other? Not like like in Civil War, but like you know how like in um DC they all like turn bad and stuff. Uh, I mean this the story of Old Man Logan. Oh, uh, uh, something like that. Like, the main villain I turned bad was the Hulk. Oh, really? Tur- oh, that's why he had to like, turn. I don't know if you heard it. Um, based in this story, Logan's old as fuck. Yeah. And basically, what happened right was, this is uh, a couple years before he turned Omen Logan. He had an incident where the X Men house was breached. Yeah. By enemies, right? Mm-hmm. So Logan's like, "All right, bro, I gotta turn this shit up." So it was like fucking. And hella, hella villains, like fucking hella motherfuckers. Yeah. And he starts killing all of the villains, right? Yeah. Killing all of them. Comes to find out Mysterio's in the room, making him think he's killing villains the whole time he's killing the X-Men. Really? Yes. He killed all of them? He killed all the X-Men. Nah, that's OD. Like freaking like, Cyclops bro, and all you gotta, of them? You got to look at... The, he killed all of them. Beast, Cyclops, G, uh, Jubilee, um... Bro, and then this, the 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 visual part of, of the of the panels are so fucking drawn well, bro. Like the blood in that shit, he's like, oh my fucking god, like that shit is crazy. Wow. Then it, when that happened, he just never swore to ever, uh, like do, like do the Wolverine shit again. He's like, yo, I'm never gonna do this shit again. Is that where like that Logan movie leaves off as? No, the Logan movie is like a whole different thing actually from what this is. Oh okay. Um, because in this one, then later on. He has to fight a couple niggas because he has a family, right? Yeah. And the Hulk family kidnapped him. Oh, yeah. I heard. I seen that one. I did see that and one. And they ate his family. Yeah, and they had to freaking... Uh, didn't he have to like kill them all or something like that? He had to fucking... He fucking went to the Hulk's place, killed all his... Because they were all his kids. Killed all of his kids. Uh-huh. And then he had to go fight the Hulk. And they was fucking Wolverine up in his fucking base form, nigga. Oh, as my. regular Bruce Banner, bro. <laughs> really? Yes, bro. And then a nigga turned a hawk and he ate the Wolverine. Oh my gosh. And then he just bursted out his stomach. He was like, bro, I can't digest him correctly. What is going on with him? Nigga said, ah, <laughs> out his back, bro. Nah, that's OD, bro. <laughs> Big I'm, ass nigga. I'm still trying to, I can't find that freaking Hulk versus uh, Wolverine versus bro, Deadpool. Movie, shit, bro. You're, bro, you're missing out, bro. I can't find it. Like, there's nowhere to, like, that's that they don't have it on freaking HBO. They don't got it. Like, I, I feel like I have to, I think I have to buy it off like Amazon or something like that. But if I, if it's cheap, I might get, I might cop that, bro. That thing is OD. Bro, all right. If you really want it, my boy, you got to text me when I go home and I can, I literally have it on DVD, bro. Really? I literally have it on DVD. Yeah, I need, to, I want to watch that, bro. Bro, that shit is so fire, bro. I want to watch that, bro. I want to watch that. That shit bro. is so Loki, the stuff that I really like is the fucking, uh, is the Thor one, bro. Because later on, that's when Hulk goes, he fucking appears on Asgard. Oh, when he's like in the, doing like the little, uh. Starts tweaking because Loki wants to control the Hulk. That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he loses control. Is that Hulk. when he turns world breaker Hulk? That's when he t- no, 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 no. Not no, that no. one? Yeah, but like, that shit's tough though, bro. Dang, I need to watch that, bro. Yeah. Oh, people, I almost forgot. We'll be right back. We got a message for yo, you. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S, all caps at checkout. We'll save you $20 on your first purchase with Seat Geek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system on how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. 
10 because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to SeatGeek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, SeatGeek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get, we different than regular, regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on. Let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. And we're back. Oh, I got something to talk to you about, bro. Actually, yo, you know what is crazy? I, I got I got a whole paranormal freaking part for the podcast. So, people, if you got if you made this far, subscribe down below. Good. Yeah, a little stuff. bit paranormal stuff. It's just real briefly, bro. What? Let me t- let me tell you, bro. So, right, I have I have like this little medicine ball, right? A little heavy weighted medicine ball. I'm gonna say this right now because my mom's gonna watch. So, my dad uses it all the time, like when he's at work, to like you know. Like, because he sits down a lot, so he just uses it as, like, an exercise thing. Uh-huh. It's like a small medicine ball, but it's heavy. So, sometimes I pick it up, you know, just play around, just throw it around. But I put it in the living room. But it's heavy. But it's not heavy. It's, like, it's like two pounds. But it needs some force to move it, though, I would assume. Right? Yes. Like, you need, like, it doesn't move you, by itself. You need some... No, no. Nah, nah, like, you could pick it up like a like a normal ball, but it's just, it's, like, a two pounds. Okay. Right? So, then, my mom's, like, she comes up to me the other day. She's, like, Darius, did you put the medicine ball in the basement? I was like, no, why? She's like, because I didn't put it in the basement, and your father didn't put it in the basement, your sister didn't put it in the basement. I was like, it has to be you. I was like, why would I put that in the basement for? I'm like, no way. I swear on everything I love, and they they think it's me. Like they swear you need it's me. To put a camera in the crib now, because what if you just see that shit just floating? Bro, I don't know. Like I was, basement. she was like, yeah, and my dad. I told my dad, I was like, dad, we got a ghost and he's moving. He's like, bro, I know you did it. I'm like, bro, what do you mean? I didn't move it. Oh, I don't know why they keep thinking oh, no, like it's me. This see all the times I used to prank my dad, starting to backfire me now, because oh, no. now they don't believe me. Like it's crazy. Well, see, you getting that shit and then low key in my crib. I'm not really experiencing experiencing it, but my girl is. I kind of. I'm kind of like numb to it, which is kind of sad. <laughs> I kind of just ignore shit. My girl be saying she just be hearing shit and seeing shit just moving out of the crib, bro. Like what? Like, like recently was it was it today or yesterday? Nigga, she just came from the from the bathroom over here. Some random shit just fell in the fucking kitchen. Really? Some random like a, like a like a cup or some shit just fell fell off out the, the fucking counter. And nobody was over there. Nobody was over there, bro. She was in the bathroom, bro. And then. Uh, that's actually kind of crazy. In my room, like some shit just, some shit behind my TV just fell. And I just looked at it like, okay. My girl's like, Jordan, are you not going to fucking say nothing about it, bro? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like bro, what you want to do, bro? Oh my gosh, bro. See, you I know, know I, I don't know, bro, because you know why I get scared, bro? Because I, mean, I used to watch ghost stories when I was young, bro. Yeah. I used to just see people just to be like, yo, I live in a crib for like 10 years. Then out of nowhere, stuff starts stuff started going crazy. I'm like, bro, what if it's just me? What if it's like my crib where it's my look where I was good for all these years that I don't know what the ghost said. Let's turn it up a notch now. I know, right? Like now they want to start tweaking, bro. You know it's oh my god. You know it's crazy, bro. I seen this on on TikTok and I seen it on the news. It's on Fox, bro. The Vatican is are going to release guidelines on how to go about the supernatural. What does that mean? The Vatican. You know what the Vatican is? The higher ups? Or something? No. So the Vatican is a city, but it's a country, but it's mainly a church, right? So think of a big church, but they it's so like important that they made it into it's the world's smallest country. Mm. So the Vatican has over five miles of archives in the in their basement in the Vatican City. There's a five, five mi- miles of libraries of books of like twelve centuries full of knowledge oh hella old ass hella old stuff they say bro they say they have things of like the our past they have things about alien technology down there and it's like only a certain amount of people have access to it i about to say because i feel like they wouldn't let like the government really in there no no only be hella sacred now only certain people have it i remember somebody was saying like i think somebody had access to it and he was reading he went down and he seen some books that that showed like alien technology in it and it showed like supposedly like a it's like a whole language that we don't even know what it is, but it's like it's like talking about certain like um things like new technology that we could have. And it was like the Vatican was was like hiding all this stuff. And they were saying like we could have been on the moon in like the 1700s, but back then they were trying to suppress the people with all this technology that they had. That's what they're trying to show them like how they learned how to build the pyramids. Like every Being every a moon seventeen hundred fuck. Because no. think think about it like this, right? Imagine, right? Imagine we had technology more advanced than what we have today, and that's how we built the pyramids. 
But then, right, because the pyramids was before, way before the 1700s. Mm-hmm. So then when once we have that technology, a big group of people, they was like, you know what? We don't want, we don't want to, we need to set these people back some because they're starting to, you know, revolt. So now mm-hmm. they take all that technology, take all that information, they hide it. And now they tell these people lies. And they'd be like, nah, you got to do this, you got to do that. That's what they supposedly say. Gar- like, like, fuck out of here, my nigga. You, that's what they supposedly say. But you never know, because I heard the Pope is crazy. But anyways, so they were saying that the Vatican is, they're going to come out with new guidelines on how to go about the supernatural and supernatural phenomenons that, that deals with demons, ghosts, aliens. Well, like how to fucking, like... Talk to them about how to fuck. I have like, no clue, how to bro. Leave me alone, bro. Like, I have, I have no clue, bro. And it's really weird because even before that, you know, there's a new disease that's going around. It's called demon face syndrome. You ever heard about that? Demon face syndrome, bro. There, the first guy got freaking, um, what's it called? Is it fatal? No, no, no. It's like a think of like a mental illness. The first guy got diagnosed with it. It's basically like, like you see certain people look like different. Like, they start looking like demons and stuff. Like, not, like, looking like demons like with the horns, but, like, their faces look weird and off. That's schizophrenia. But, like, just imagine, like, well, that's mad random. My boy got schizophrenic, bro. You say he got schizophrenic? He's just schizo. But, like, and then they were saying, like, I remember, I think they're, they're supposed to come out with it. I don't know, people, if y'all least listen to this right now, it's probably been out already. See what happened. Because it comes out on May 17th. But... In the Oh, they, they, they gave a date for when they're going to... Yeah, when they're going to come out. May 17th. That's when they're going to give it out. And then it's crazy because there's a coincidence with the Simpsons movie, right? Or with the Simpsons that May 18th, Homer Simpson predicted predicted that's when the rapture is going to happen. You know what the rapture is? What is that? Supposedly in the Bible, that's when all like the people that passed away, like the Christians that passed away, they'll come back to life and they'll bring all the Christians up to heaven to see God. That's when supposedly what the rapture is. So but, motherfuckers couldn't go up there before? I mean, he's probably going to take people with them. But just imagine, right? Damn. Why would they do that? Like, it's a it's a stretch, but that's kind of crazy coincidence. If they said the rapture... Imagine the rapture happens afterwards, but yeah. they're trying to show us, like, beforehand, like, what to do when stuff, like, some crazy stuff happens. Like, imagine that, like... And they... I don't know. Have you ever heard, of, like, Project Blue Beam? No. It's like a... Bro, like, these people have been making some crazy stuff lately, bro. Like, it's like a whole um project that the government is trying to do to, like create a central government so like they're trying to fake an alien invasion so like we all get scared and we'll like there's gonna be like a not like a hero but like something's gonna save us oh, what the and fuck? now we look at them as like nah now whatever you say we listen to you and they're gonna be those Maybe people he's about to make a false god for us bro or some, I, or some fake superman so the, i don't know just bro. like that fake ass fucking miami um supernatural shit that happened. that alien thing you yeah, seen that yeah people said it was real though because yeah, they were saying like it was like a, like a nineteen foot fucking figure. I'm like, God damn. I don't know, man. I don't know. See, a nineteen foot of, is crazy though, bro. Do you think anything's gonna happen? With well, like in regards to like the supernatural with all this stuff, because I can hold you. I can see the the way my the way my house been low-key tweaking these past couple days. You having a fucking floating medicine ball going for translute to your fucking basement, bro? It's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Cause like you know, like see. That shit would make me want to get a, like a camera in my crib, but that's oh, actually, move the mic over there. My fault. That's a little wicked, bro. What a medicine ball being moved to the basement. I don't know, bro. I literally have no and clue. You say your sister don't remember moving her. My sister don't touch it. My mom didn't touch it. My dad didn't. They you, all swear it's me. You bro. and your dad gotta be the the um protectors. None. You guys are the the suspects, bro. What do you have to do, bro? It's not me, bro. I'll show you the medicine ball, bro. There's literally no way. But my mom says we have like a little troll in the crib anyway, so. A little troll that just takes stuff in, like, nah, bro. like I remember my mom one time. I think we we was fixing something, and like there was a certain tool that she needed. It just disappeared one day. Six months later, it was in the basement. Bro, would you ever think about trying to talk to a ghost in your crib? No. Nah, Yo, wait, you had the box. That yeah, I know I do have it. You but ever tried to, to? I tried it, but like I don't I don't know if it's gonna work for real. You scared? That's I why, nigga. <laughs> Nigga scared. I would have tried that shit. We'll see, man. One day. My like, mom I'm not gonna to hold you. Where I would definitely try it in my crib, the attic, your mom's room, my basement. Like when it's dark. Why you say that? You got it. I got tested shit in my. I got tested in my basement. And then I got to either my living room or my room direct because my room always gets like some type of weird activity. Really? Yeah. We gotta do a freaking seance in this man's crib. You got a little baby ghost in his head, bro. Did you say you seen like like uh, in your parents' window? You seen like a little girl or something? 
No, no, no. I ain't see it. But, bro, it was one time, bro. Like, I promise you, these motherfuckers were not home. And I had went upstairs to their room. Yeah. I forgot what the, what the fuck I went to go do. And I made sure the, the lights were off. Because I always, every time I leave the room and then the home, I turn all their lights off. Mm-hmm. And I was home alone, I believe. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, Tony was playing in his room. I went outside in the fucking lights. And my my mom's like, uh, you if you've been up there, you know how she got that little window where she got a, like a seat in front of it? Yeah, yeah. Like someone could brush their hair? Yeah, no. The fucking light was on in that in that in that little spot the lamp. Really? That shit that shit gave me goosebumps thinking about it. That shit had me scared as fuck, my boy. <laughs> How old were you? Bro, this was like, this fucking, was like high school? I think this was before fucking uh I met Imani. That shit had me so scared, bro. I'm like That's OD. I'm like, is that me? Because we slept on me and I mean, slept someone on was doing their hair. Doing their hair, bro. In my window, bro. See, cause I know me and Ish slept over your crib a lot of times, but I haven't. I ain't. Never, thank God, I ain't never seen nothing, bro. So, bro, somebody got pulled out the Ouija board. I ain't gonna be that one. You just gotta make sure you say goodbye at the end, bro. You good? Y'all gonna forget? Y'all just gonna forget? Say, and then we're cooked. You're gonna forget we're cooked. Yeah, be hella polite. Goodbye. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Don't ever come back again. Some shit like that, bro. Maybe one day. Maybe on Adventures with Idiots. You never know. But. Fuck no, you're dumb. I'm not gonna do that shit in a random haunted place, bro. <laughs> you're you wouldn't, crazy, my nigga. I have, I have some ideas. I would not have done that in that prison. I ain't gonna, that prison looks skeptical, nigga. That 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 basement, bro. <laughs> that basement. I have is... some more. I have some more ideas. Are you gonna be on the next one? Yes, bro. I have a. I have a lot bro, of things can planned. Can we go, bro? This sounds crazy. What we need? To, I feel like we need to trespass or some shit, bro. I mean, don't say it to the freaking internet. <laughs> it's just we bad. need to not trespass. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I got Bro, some ideas. Like we, we, it needs to be like a bigger prison. Like that sh- a shit that got layers, my nigga. I know, but I'm not trying to die. Like Bro, we good, bro. <laughs> but like, bro, we good, bro. We got the light, bro. We all gotta have a light. Okay, I we mean, all gotta have a light, bro. I'm telling, you, telling you, we get another one of those boxes. We got to get more of them little uh, ghost equipment, bro. We'll find something. I'll you find something. You're scared, bro. We gonna... I'm not scared. I'm a, the only thing I'm scared of is, is getting arrested. That's the only thing I'm scared of. Bro. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Anything else, bro, I'm cool. We're in there for like an hour at least, bro, or two. I can find some stuff. That's it, bro. I can find some stuff. Don't worry. We're going like, to... Gonna... Not do a... Or you could even do... Maybe like... Maybe it don't got to be... Maybe like a bridge. Would you do the Conjuring House? <laughs> Would you? I've seen no. a bunch of people go in there. My girl wants to do that shit. I don't. I don't understand the, the the excitement of going to that place, bro. You want to go, hey, bro? There's literally a fucking person there named Bathsheba, a witch that was known to be a witch that sacrificed her kid, bro. I mean, as long as we don't do nothing stupid. Bro, it's the and the worst part. I heard is literally the basement, my nigga. I know. I was watching. A, I was watching a video of some people in there before. Bro, I watched the video of some nigga. He was they were recording in front of the basement door, and you literally see a fucking head like this and go right back in. Yeah, I seen that. You talking about the Sam and Kobe oh, one? Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. That shit crazy, bro. Hey man, if y'all want us to go into the conjuring house, and that shit is so active, like bro, like the little light you see that you got. Yeah. That shit will continuously be on, bro. Like they're like this to it. I I got some I got some things planned up before that, so. Let us know where y'all wants to go in the comments for Adventure Vlogs of Idiots. But no, I got another story to tell you since we were talking about the Conjuring House. I've I've heard of a house that is 10 times more scary than a Conjuring House and more haunted and more accursed. It's not in Jersey, right? Nah, it's not in New Jersey, bro. Bro, there was a house. So in 2011, right, in Gary, Indiana, a woman purchased this house and there was supposedly like a portal to like the underworld in the crib, bro, because of how haunted it was. So... It was in Indiana. A woman moved in with her three kids. They were seven, nine, and twelve, right? So the first couple months, it wasn't too crazy. Like it was like you know normal crib and stuff like that. They'll just have like random. They'll just have random times where black flies will just appear in their porch, right? So you just think something's dead, right? But then over the next couple months, like it starts getting. They start like seeing things. Like I remember the mom said she started hearing the doors creak and the doors will open, and then. The one thing she remembers, she would hear like heavy footsteps in the basement of somebody walking. And then one time she was in the living room and she seen like a like a dark figure pacing back and forth. And then she seen a boot print from that figure on the floor. So then she was like, okay, this is getting a little creepy. 
And then it started getting to a point where the kids started getting possessed. Like each kid had their own like thing. Like one, the youngest kid, they were at the dinner table. His eyes rolled to the back of his head and he started like talk. A seizure? Or no, something? no. He started speaking and then he growled. And like the kids would oh, like. like <laughs> Yo, nigga, who the fuck is you on, boy? Yo, and the kids, they would like randomly start like bursting out into random words, like just saying crazy things and growling. And like they would have like those little weird smiles on them. And then one time, the when the the older, I think the oldest one is a girl. She had her friend spend the night, and the friend said that she witnessed her levitate, bro, in the middle of the night. Oh no, nah, bro! And then it's, yo, it gets worse, bro. The mother said that she seen one of her sons get thrown across the room. She got choked by one of the ghosts, like she couldn't breathe one time, like it had her in the choke. So they called the priest and everything, try to do like um, try to do like a what's it called, exorcism, whatever. But like the people of the town thought they were joking. So they called, like, Dyfus on him, like, the child protection to take her kids away because she thought she was abusing the kids because of what everybody is saying uh-huh. about them. So they were, so I remember, I think people went, they took pictures because they had a whole full-on investigation of the crib. They took a picture, and in the front of the house, you see a big demon, like, tall figure in the, the window. On the window. Like, you see it with the eyes and everything. They're like, nah, what is this? And there was, like, age, like you know, when the, the agents come to the house, one of the, some of the agents said that they... They claim that when they went there, one of the kids climbed up the wall backwards. Oh, bro! Imagine you Everybody walk in. Needs to get eviscerated in that crib, bro, bro. Imagine you walk in. He's climbing up the yo, cause it's moonwalking up the wall, cause. I'm like, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, signing my boy. So they had to. So I think they sold it to one of the ghost hunters from Discovery Channel. Like they, they bought, he bought it for like thirty five k. And he did a he did like a a documentary in there. He's probably gonna make that shit like an attraction or some shit. No, no, he 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 tore it down in two thousand sixteen. He was like, nah, whatever's in here. I think it was a, there was like a, I forgot. It was a demon called like the Black Fly or something like that. The Black Fly? Something like that. What the fuck? So he was like, yeah, nah. I was like, and he just, he called it quits after that, but he just destroyed the whole thing, man. Do you think that actually destroyed the spirits that were there too? I don't, ah, nah, I think they're still in I the feel ground. Like they're in that, in that area, that land. Yeah, I feel like if you build they something on that, top, that they own that land. I feel like if you build something on top, it's going to make it. Even haunted. You want to hear something creepy? What? My nephew, Nut Carson, right? Yeah. You want to know what he says now? What? He keeps mentioning about something called the Bata. The heck? Right? No one in the crib knows what this is. <laughs> and when we ask him, he points up. Nah. <laughs> when we ask Carson, we're like, where's the Bata? He's up there. Bro, Tony and Ken said it was in the room. He was playing in his little corner, right? And the nigga was just staring into the corner, like, just po- and just pointing at it. Nah, that's OD. <laughs> Yo. And, how th- th- and Tony and Ken, they're, they're saying, they didn't call, they would have been like, hey, hey, hey. They, just, they were like, Yo, let's, let's watch him. Let's see what he does. He's just like this, pointing in the corner, just looking at it. Really? I swear to God, bro. And I told you, he keeps mentioning that uh, uh, the person's called Bata, and he's black. Nah. I don't know if, like, <laughs> he's black or, like, he's, like, black, like, like the like whole a, body, like, a, like some shit. Like a figure But black? he says that shit now. That shit be having me tripping a little bit. Nah, bro. I'll be scared, cuz. Cuz I asked was... him, he was pointing up to my parents, and I'm like... Right, that's what boy, you, whatever you got going on, you can have that, my boy. Because <laughs> that's what you said before, right? Bro. Because you know, I feel like the ghosts and stuff, they they, they communicate well with children and animals. It's weird people. Like, so, I don't know. Yo, your Boomer leave probably him, seen them, bro. Leave him alone, bro. <laughs> Boomer be talking to the body. Hey, bro, I told you. That shit was weird. The most wickedest one I've ever experienced was the one where fucking, I was hearing some shit in the motherfucking kitchen. That shit Walk to the living room. <laughs> I promise you that shit. Walk to the living room. Dakota came to my room, stopped in front of my door, and just looked to the left side in the complete darkness. And then came walking to my room. There's definitely some shit in my crib, bro. Now you got somebody named the Bata in my house, bro. <laughs> like, you will get this motherfucker away from us, bro. I'm over there. He's saying butter or some shit. Butter. Or, or Batman. He, no, he's clearly trying to say Bata. Nah, that's weird, bro. Yeah. That's so creepy. Yeah. Nah, that actually creeps me out. I don't yeah. like that. Thank yeah. God I ain't never I'm seen that. I'm like, yo, who's the bot that, bro? Where is he, bro? 
I'm gonna record. I'm, if I remember, I'm gonna How's try he to now? Like what? It. Three, four, three, three. Oh man, I swear them. I swear them. Them little invisible friends come to. I know imaginary to. friends. That's bro. I, did you have an imaginary friend? I did. Yeah. My shit was weird as fuck. My shit was dead ass. My hands. <laughs> On everything. And I dead ass called it Cosmo and Wanda on my mother's life, bro. <laughs> and I was dead ass going to the toilet and I will dead ass talk to them like this. And be like, I need some advice, guys. I swear to God. I was so weird, bro. You talking like this? I swear to God, man. I remember the day I let them go was when I was like fucking... <laughs> I was like eighth grade. I'm like, bro, I can't talk to them anymore or whatever. Eighth grade? Some shit like that, bro. Eighth, or maybe... Or maybe Joy, like, eighth grade. I don't remember. All I know is I dead ass... I had a moment where I gave them up and I was like, I can't talk to them anymore. And then I was like this... <laughs> you know, like, that's when I gave my grown man. So you was talking to at, hands, in sixth bro. grade because I was because if um if you remember when you was younger, there was a show on on Nick Fairly Odd Parents. You remember that it was a Nick Junior show? Oh, Ubi, like the one Ubi, the one he's like that. Yeah, <laughs> I I pictured him like that with the little eyes and shit on my on my mother's life. <laughs> That fairy out parent, and then Ubi had an had an influence on me, having created my own little friends on my hand, bro. Wow. Yeah. So you've been talking. You was talking to him since sixth grade. I don't really remember like how long, but it was a little, a little bit. I want to talk to him like every day, like who, who, what's up, what's up. Be like, here, <laughs> but I need like, some help. Hey, guys, dead, want dead that. ass, bro. I was weird, bro. <laughs> nah, I didn't have no, I didn't have no imaginary friend like that. I would have like a imagine. I would have like a stuffed animal. I would have like my little. Uh, what did I have? I had wrestlers. So I had my little wrestler. The, you talking about the wrestler stuff, stuff, yeah. stuff shits? No, no, I actually had my wrestler. I w- I'll look at him as like my friends. Oh, this nigga, bro. My wrestler, like my wrestler, wrestler action figures, bro. Hey, Ray Mysterio, what you think about this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it was my guys, bro. I had other ones too. What were they called? I forgot. They wasn't wrestlers. Hey, bro, I'm weird, bro. I have my fucking hands, bro. Yeah, I know. To me like this. Imagine your parents definitely seen you do some stuff like. I hope they didn't, bro. That's crazy work. He I said, see- and then you just let him go, just like. Shh. Yeah, that's some shit you see like a crackhead dude, bro. Yes. You ever seen that video of the crackhead that was playing with the rats? Like he trained rats. And they were like going to his sleep or some shit. No, bro. like they'll go like he'll put them here and then he'll make them do flips and then he'll just like he'll be like this. I remember and I seen one of them, he made one of them jump and shit like a trick. I was like, bro, what the fuck? That's tough, bro. That's definitely some New York shit, bro. Yeah, bro. Niggas are strange, bro. But ooh. That bata's crazy, bro. Nah, that's actually crazy work. That actually scares me, that bro. Bata, my nephew is tweaking, bro. I gotta talk to Carson, bro. But yo, I actually have another thing. That we could possibly go to when we go for our adventures with idiots, but I don't know if you're up for it because it's actually kind of scary. So have you have you ever heard of the Bennington Triangle? We out, bro. Okay, we he's. Out, a, bro. Have you ever heard of it? All I hear is triangle, bro. I'm thinking the Bermuda Triangle. We ain't coming out. That's all I know. So you, I'm in for it, bro. If I have to, vor- if I vortex to another universe, bro, it is what it is, bro. So let me let me explain to you before. <laughs> Jay, look at us like we crazy. Wait, cause she know what it is? No. So let me let me tell you what it is before. So I've realized that you know how there's a Bermuda Triangle. I think I told you about this before. There's other places around the world where there's they different said triangles. The one in New York, I think that's what you said, right? No, this one's in Vermont. So this is in Vermont. Like, as far as fuck. Hey, bro. Five hundred likes, like nah. <laughs> so five hundred likes, and I'll definitely try to go out there, bro. So in Bennington, Vermont, there's like a forest where it's like a, it's like a supposedly a cursed or haunted forest in Vermont. Like, it's at the bottom part of Vermont. So, in the, between 1945 and 1950, there was, like, eight disappearances in that forest. And it was, like, the most random stuff ever. So, think about it like this, right? I think the one of the first ones that happened, it was a girl, a college girl. She was walk, she she um She decided to take a hike throughout the woods, and she vanished. Like, she never came back. They had a whole search party for her. They never found her. Three years later, the craziest one happened. There was a guy on a bus. He was going to Bennington, and on the way to Bennington, he vanished in the bus. And every there was 14 people. Where's the bus? What do you mean, where's the bus? He vanished inside the bus? Yes, inside the bus. Like, he went on the bus. He never left the bus, but the people didn't know where he went. But what about the bus driver? Did the bus driver was still there? The bus driver was still there. Everybody on the bus was there. They, they remember him walking on the bus. They just don't remember him leaving, and he wasn't there. The only thing was left was his luggage and like his time card. Was on, was on the bus though. It was just like he upped and vanished at the bus. So they was nigga, like, nigga disappeared, bro. The, and it was like it was he was like a sixty five year old man, and people thought it was like a hoax. And it was it was in the newspaper though. They didn't know what happened to him. And then I think another, I think a couple maybe a couple weeks later, 
there was a couple out there in the woods. I think he was a hunter, and he decided to, you know, he was it was it was him and four of his friends. They was hunting, I think, like deer or something, and they was going back to like the camp. But he decided to walk ahead of the guys because I guess he wanted to get there in time. When he got there, when his friends got there, he disappeared. He was not there. Bro, there's so many accounts. Bro, you gotta always stick with people, bro. It's and like they couldn't find them, bro. But like my shit is just like, how does the perspective look from theirs? Like from there? that's what like, I'm saying. Are they still in their eyes still walking to where they want to go, or like they just people don't know what happened to him, bro. There was even a, a case where there was an eight year old boy and his her his mom was just outside like by that forest. And you want us to go? No, I, I was I was kidding. <laughs> you want us to go, right? I was kidding. There I was told a, you I'm up for it. <laughs> there was a mom, like she um she parked her car and I guess she had to get something outside by that forest and she left her son in the so car. If, so even if you're just next to the forest, suppose bro, the son was gone, bro. She turned around, he was gone. Like somebody abducted him, but they don't know where he went. Bro, so I it's easy, right? It's easy how we can't we 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 won't be vanished, right? Yeah. Just got to always keep ribbons on us. <laughs> got to walk around with, with with harnesses, right? Yeah. You feel me? Like like a, like in school? And we got to have them, the red beeper lights and stuff on our brother. Just keep tapping that shit. I don't know, bro. There's ways we can finesse. I don't get know. Get ribbons. This get is big a ass lights, bro. We got to set up little little flares, little little stickers. got to do all that shit, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, it's like... I don't know what it is. And like, yo, the weirdest, the weirdest one, right? Wait, you said, where is it? In Vermont. It's called Bennington Triangle. But what is shit? B-E-N-N-I-N-G-T-O-N. But the weirdest one, right? There was a couple and the couple, I think it was like the, a man and a wife. And she was like, you know, I got to go change something real quick. So she walks over maybe like 20 feet. You said Vermont Triangle? Yeah, Bennington, Vermont. Vermont Triangle? Yeah, yeah. You looking it up? How far is it? Are you looking at how far it is? How many people went missing? Six people. Like six, yeah. Bro. In the span of five years. This was updated in 2023. Yeah. But this wasn't recent, though. It was like in the 50s. But like people still say they see stuff. Bro. Like they said it was, bro. That's why they don't know what happened to these people. And like. That shit, the triangle. My yeah, boy. bro. Wait, so can we even drive through there, or like you gotta be walking? I'm through? not. I was kidding. This is not. I don't know if we really gonna do that. Hey, where's, where's I need a million dollars to go through there, cause what? You so? What you looking up? Look up how to get there, bro. This man's looking. Oh, I, I just put an idea in his mind, and if we don't, oh, bro, look at this guy. Where's Vermont at, bro? Look at this guy, bro. Look at this guy. So, uh, so it's more up. That shit's in motherfucking. He's really New Hampshire. He's really trying to look for this, or is it? Uh, it is it for New Hampshire, or is it dead ass in Vermont? Cause that's a state, right? Yeah, Vermont's a state. I keep forgetting, bro. <laughs> we don't really t- pay attention to those states up there, for real, bro. Yo, that shit's a little place, bro. Yeah, bro. Yo, you know what I think it is, bro? You know what I think it is? Cause there was another. I forgot. Th- I forgot to tell you the last one that happened. Freaking a lady went missing, right? And they had a whole search party out for her. And then the freaking, I think six months later, they found her body laying in the middle of a field. They had that on the GPS, bro. What? It's literally called the Bennington Triangle on the, on the GPS. How much is it? How far is it? No, no reviews. It's a hiking area, though. I am I told you, bro. So you can't go in there. You could hike, bro. Without trespassing. Yes. <laughs> Look, he's, his eyes opened up, bro. He's really excited. Because Jordan loves hiking, bro. I don't know if y'all know Jordan. Me and Jordan-ish, we used to hike everywhere, bro. My nigga. Yeah, bro. It's the fact that there's no more information. Just go there and that's it. Yeah, bro. It's a three-hour drive. Shit, we go, bro. <laughs> Look at this guy. But, yo. Yo, wait. That would be sick. But what do you think it is, though? Think about it. Bro, they, the, they found her body in the middle of a field, but they searched that field already. It's like something dropped her there. You think it's aliens, bro? I was about to say, I thought that could be like a mag- like a magazine for like alien type of in- experiments. Maybe and the but the one thing that the everything like all these disappearances have in common is that they were all during the fall, like from October to December. They oh, were so all we, during so, that day. So we have to go through uh, October basically. I don't know. Oh, and they were all wearing red. And we have to wear red. 
All of us. No. <laughs> this man. No, no, no. All of us wear red and then you're the host. So you can wear blue. Or, <laughs> no, you wear white. You be the savior and then you live to tell the story. Oh, so you guys are sacrifices? No, I'm sacrificing us up, bro. You hear that, Jay? I ain't going to hold you. you. If I get, bro, if I get abducted, <laughs> bro, I'm f- beating the motherfuckers up, bro. Nigga, they just going to halt you like this. Yo, now you're done. They're nah. just gonna be like, Shh. No, but I, I dead ass think that could be someone dead ass getting abducted on like on some weird shit, bro. So you think they got abducted? Motherfucker on a bus just disappeared out of the blue. Yeah. Her son just disappeared from the back. Bitch just got dropped off in the middle of the field. Yeah. That sounds nothing paranormal. That sounds more like some alien shit. Mm-hmm. And it's a triangle. And I heard triangle like type of play, like Bermuda Triangle is like more like it has to deal with so much energy, like some alien shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause like, there's I feel like those edges, those points, yeah, is like it, it has to do something. Like if we used to go to the point of that triangle, yeah, they move to the next one, then to the bottom, yeah, we might we might just open see a or portal, discover some shit, bro. Because they say they see like a lot of people see like orbs and UFOs. A lot of people say they see Bigfoot Ooh. in there. Ooh, look at this guy. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get fucked about no Bigfoot, nigga. I got my blick with me, bro. What that gonna do, bro? Blick what his that ass gonna do? down, bro. Imagine he like the beast, bro. You're done. I got two blicks, bro. This guy thinks he's cool now. He thinks he's freaking John Wick, bro. <laughs> this guy. Have you tested it out yet? You been nah. to the shoot? Look, he's scared. He's like, you don't even know how to freaking shoot the thing, bro. Nobody's scared, talk. bro. Look, all right, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. They pro- I, I, that's probably like a fucking portal place where they drop shit off and take shit, bro. I'm saying, I feel like they... I f- yeah. All right, here's this question. Is yeah. there a, or is there known to be a lot of animals there? Supposedly, yeah. Okay. Supposedly, yeah. Okay. Does a sun beam in that place? I don't know about that. They don't really... I think it's just... No, I think all that is normal. It's like a normal woods, but I feel like... They, the, it's, just, na- it's just that part. The natives said it's cursed. So I don't know if they've probably seen the aliens come you and get them. I believe the natives, bro. Yeah, I know the natives know too much, bro. They know everything, bro. I feel like all these, the, all the Native American reserv- like uh, reservations and stuff, they have so much history that we don't know about. They speak that wisdom. I know. We just literally just took over their land. That's crazy work, bro. Thank you. Thank- <laughs> <laughs> you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Okay, look. So I do got this one thing that I found out. Yeah. I don't got too much information, but it's what I discovered, which was kind of weird, right? Yeah. So, right? So what I saw... Have you heard of the torso in the Thames? The heck is that? And I think it's Thames or Tombs, right? Whatever, right? Yeah. So on September 2, 21, 2001, right? Yeah. I think in a sewage line, a body came out yeah. of a young black boy. Yeah. No arms, no head, no legs. Straight torso with, I think, girl clothes, like orange girl clothes. But it was a dude. It was a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So they're like... What the fuck? How yeah. this little boy with no arms and all this shit come out, right? And what I think what they discovered was in his body, it was like stuffed and all of this shit. Like if someone did like a ritual on the boy. Really? Yeah, right? And there was like no no traces of like who it could be, right? Yeah. Crazy as fuck, right? So imagine you just find a torso... Like they like a execu- little boy. Like they like like sacrificed them or something. Yeah, like and they stuffed them with stuff and all that, right? And yeah. they couldn't find like who he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like a year or two later, they supposedly have a photo of the boy. Yeah, but they 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 can't seem to find who's related to him, and all of that shit. Like he has no family. Yeah. That's weird. So it was so weird for for the people to find it cuz like it's like bro who 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 is this boy and we had this supposedly one picture but they don't know who it is. They don't know who his family is. Do they don't even know his name? Yeah, they came up with a name but at the, at the end of the day they don't really know. They they just speculation. Oh, okay. So you're finding a little boy with no limbs. And just stuff with just bullshit, bro. Really? Like he got sacrificed. So they don't know still to this and day. And it's still undis and it's still undiscovered to this day, bro. You know, I'm glad I, I'm glad you're talking about this because I was I remember I was looking up on the internet. I was looking up some stuff to talk about for the podcast, and I came across this one conspiracy that there's like an under there's like a undercover underground like cult that is kidnapping people and sacrificing them. I think that happens and. That's funny, right? How we just found out not too long ago, the Jews have an underground 
Oh my gosh. Underground like, uh, facility? Facility bullshit that they're running that is um illegal. Yeah. Because like this is what they said. They say that they're I don't know, they're like Satanists or they're there's some type of cult that they're like kidnapping kids, kidnapping people. And like think about it like this, right? They say they're underground, right? So they're doing all this underground, undercover stuff. They're going through like creating tunnels. If you look up the map of like the missing people in the world, like in the United States, it lines up exactly to the freaking uh cave system in the United States. Well, this is this is supposedly the boy. And that's his body? That they said this is it said is how they found it. Nah, that's crazy. Came bro. out of the sewer, nothing, bro. But like, think about it, bro. So imagine, right? Like I said, there's freaking like all the missing people that went missing, like everybody. They all if you they made a map of it and it lines up exactly to the cave system in the United States. So imagine there's like a cult that's like taking people and bringing them there, like sacrificing them. I feel like there's low key like a cave system. It depends on what state. I feel like there's a cave system connected to states. There is, bro. Like think about like, it. Like the catacombs. Yeah, because you gotta think about it. Like where do where do all these cults be having their meetings? They have their meetings in the woods. Where do these people go missing? They go missing in the woods, bro. Bro, like I I really think. We have catacombs somewhere in the U.S. I don't like know. a famous one, bro. Cause there's no fucking way. Like they literally said, the one of, I think it was, I think it was Paris, right? Yeah. They do rituals in that shit. Oh yeah, the freaking catacombs down so, there, bro. I'm there might be sure. some down there, bro. Why do people do rituals? Like, what the fuck is the whole point of that shit, bro? It's those people that believe in other BS, so they think this is what's the right thing. But mm-hmm. like, yo, and it's like, it's actually kind of crazy because, I, yo, I was watching another video and they said that. Like, Halloween is, like, one of the worst times for, like, all that stuff. Because, like, the week before Halloween, that's where the most, like, homeless people go missing. Because they're getting them ready for the Halloween decoration. Bro, they say they freaking... Oh, my God. That's kind of crazy. Bro, they say they pick them up and, like, sacrifice them. That's why the lot... The police ain't gonna do shit because they don't give a fuck to homeless niggas. Bro, it's like a freaking... It's all some... They all in on it, bro. Bro, And, you know... Yo, you know what I... You know what I heard about the Jewish people, bro? They, yo, there was a book, right? There was a book created. It was like, I forgot what it was called. It was like the book of Zion or whatever. And it basically talked about how the Jewish people were going to take over the world. And it was a book. They don't know who wrote the book, but it was basically, think of it like as a Jewish Bible. But it was basically, Jewish Bible. it was basically showing how the Jewish people are trying to take over the world, right? And they got their plans written. And guess who they, that book was given to? All the Nazis. And that's why they was going through doing all that stuff to Jewish people. Now get this. Oh, now, so are you saying that that original that what originally what the Nazis were doing is what the Jews were planning to do to people? Supposedly, that's why that's like that was what was in the book. Like there was like talking about world domination, like how they're the more superior religion, how they're the most superior people, and they want to take over things. And I guess like they that's what the that book was given to the nazis to like you know this is why that we're doing this to the jewish people just to like i guess like fuel them up but you gotta think about it like this now right you know the jewish people own all the land around here think of, think about it bro how many jewish people do you see in school none and but you they live in union sure, that shit makes no sense to me bro. they live in union bro well they go to the well they they be in their own world they go to their own school Exactly. They walk around when you're sleeping. Exactly. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just thought about it. They don't... And our block... Well, it's just block mainly. Yes, they're all Jewish. Them motherfuckers be up at 10 a.m. just strolling at night with their whole family. Yes. They don't drive. If you're Jewish and you watch that, I love you. I oh, yeah, no, no, it's no, just, nothing. It's what? just these Jews I've seen, just what I've seen. This is just conspiracy. not talking shit. I'm just saying I've seen these Jews walk around at like 10, 11, just with their baby, just walking. Mm-hmm. I'm like, like, and you know what's also who walks around around this time really with their family. I can see you walking by yourself, but with the whole family, really, the, bro. I remember I was driving to go pick up Jay some sushi like the other day. And I think that's when the the synagogue got out. I'm talking about everybody. They have, bro. They have. You know how they had that little Jewish hat? They have a little umbrella that goes on top, so they don't wear. They don't use umbrellas. They have that thing on it, bro. At least fifty of them. But like, think about it like this, right? Fifty. What time was this? Had to be like ten thirty. Yo, what the? F- and you seen them all leave the building? No, I didn't see them leave. They was walking by Washington. And how many? You said like fifty. At least it was a good amount. It was I'm a crying. lot. Of them. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm crying, bro. I but, will be scared. But now think about it like this, right? Like I said, in that book, they're they're basically show, saying that the Jewish people are trying to take over the world. Now think about it. I was watching Michael. You know Michael Rappaport. 
the, uh, the white guy that always talks smack about everybody? I think so, yeah. He's Jewish. You know how many people that we know? That, you know how many people in the world that you didn't know was Jewish? Adam Adam Silver's Jewish. Adam Silver or Adam Sandler? No, the, the, the commissioner to the NBA. He is Jewish. The ball, the ball motherfucker. The ball dude is Jewish. He's Jewish. He's Jewish. Michael Rapport's Jewish. Who else is Jewish? Fucking. But now think Aiden. about Aiden. Aiden Aiden's <laughs> Jewish. Now think about it though. What is, these all people got so much money. You know who owns like the buildings and these little apartment complex they're making? Jews. Bro, they own they're owning everything. They're literally taking over the world. They own that giant mall in, in Sea Caucus. The Jewish I people own that mall. How they getting their money. I think, just, they get, I think it's just family. Family, like, foundation wealth, bro. But, like, where are they getting this bread from? They don't, like, we don't, they don't go to our schools. Where do they work? Exactly. You don't see no Jews working in a regular convenience store. Like, <laughs> bro. I don't see no Jews working in a restaurant. I don't see a Jew working in a, in, uh, in a mall. I don't see a Jew working in a hospital. I, that's where are they getting this bread from. You know what's crazy? I thought about Because in my, in my, cause I, I, I work in the ER, right? Yeah. You know Jews don't accept blood? Yeah, they don't. Yeah, yeah, they don't accept blood. They so don't. Li- maybe, maybe that's why they don't like. Bro, so they, do they even believe in like? The, well, they do believe in the hospital stuff, but I feel like, bro, it's just weird. I feel like Jews don't really even work in, in the hospital, in the medical field, really. Like, where are they getting this bread from? They get money from real estate, but like, where are they getting the the ability to buy all this land? I don't know, bro. It's bro. just. I think it's just generational wealth. Like, but can, where are they getting the generational wealth from? Is what I'm trying to say. From their families, bro. They just ran it up on people, bro. I'm just saying, what if Hitler was right? It's like, nah, I'm not gonna say. Thing is crazy, bro. No, no, don't say it. I'm not saying bro, that. Bro, bro, bro. Hitler took their plan. Yeah, I know. Hitler was trying to take over the freaking he world. He took, bro. like you just said, they had a book. Nazis got it. Hitler probably said, ooh. I'm gonna I'm I'm do this. I'm gonna capitalize. Capitalize on this shit now, bro. Hey man, I don't know. I just think I, Jewish people. Like I love Jewish people. You know, I feel like I don't. I don't have hate nobody. I don't really discriminate nobody. But it is a little fishy the way they move about their lives, bro. They always. They always it's to not themselves. Fishy, just it's very mysterious. They got, yeah, they, they very mysterious. They very mysterious people, people, bro. Yeah, it's like they because never... like I'm pretty sure I could have a normal conversation. I believe. Yeah. But I feel like. Sir, shit, I'm gonna say I gotta be careful because they might think I don't know, bro. But like, I feel like the, I don't think they really got, bro. I don't know. But all Jewish, they really lawyers though. A lot of them are lawyers, so that's probably where they get the bread from. But hey, man, that's crazy. They, there was a whole like I seen it. I'm like, wait, there's a book about this stuff. Bro, they they moving people. Tell you, bro. You now got, that whole you thing, got, you got kids getting sacrificed in the damn sewage, bro. Mm-hmm. You, you never, got you got Jews making, making a tunnels. goddamn company. Right under your feet, bro. I mean, they didn't even say what was that. What was that about, bro? I just seen a video of a hundred, like fucking twenty Jews just running out there, getting, like a, getting out of the fucking like rats, bro. They, they, I'm pretty sure they didn't even arrest all of them. They didn't. They just arrested like the the main ones. They probably, like, bro, you gotta get the fuck out of here. And we about to destroy. What if they? I think like they, some, I think they blocked it all for like bars. What if they was doing some freaking like child like trafficking? Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. We'll never know, bro. We'll they never blocked, know. I don't want to know. They blocked I, it off, and you, and you know the, the the NYPD. They like being secretive. I know, bro. It's crazy. Word, Everybody bro. like being secretive. I understand. I understand secrets are secrets are secrets are, are, are good for. Uh, they're like good to like keep you, not so much in the in in the a, loop in, in the loop, but at the same time you gotta let motherfuckers know what's really happening. Hey man, this is life. That's like cr- like I said, bro. Be careful. You know what's crazy about that shit too? What? That happened September 21st, 2001, right after 9-11. Like, oh, couple, like 10 days like, afterwards. 10 days after that shit. Dang, bro. And they still don't know where this kid is. Yeah, bro. What if low-key they took that kid from like another country and they just brought I him I think here? they say he was Nigerian. So maybe what they took him from like Nigeria, that's why they probably don't know who his family is. The family's not over here. Still, bro. Like, what would, you, what would be your reason to like to do that shit? Bro, you know how pe- there's weird people in this world, bro. Yeah, it's I like, don't know why, bro. I don't know how people find that shit like, like I don't know, like a fetish to fucking do weird shit to a fucking kid, bro. Bro, they think people who do rituals are just strange individuals in in general. Like it's just the way they just talk, but they just talk finding nasty, joy bro. in seeing fucking blood coming out of somebody or something. You know, they thought freak. You remember? You ever watched that movie, that TV show on Netflix, The Watchers, about Westfield? No. Yo, you gotta watch it, bro. I talked about it in the pod. It was like about the Westfield Watchers. 
What they say? It's like basically a house in Westfield, like New Jersey, like in Westfield, New Jersey. Wait, I do remember. Yeah, did you watch it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You should watch it, hold bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I did watch it. Uh, did that guy have fucking uh? Was there somebody living in his house? Something he thought, yeah. What What do you call those people again? That just be li- that squatters, squatters, squatters. Yeah. But who was the squatter again? I forgot. I don't think it was somebody living in his house. I think it was somebody like messing with him. Yeah, and then just staying in his fucking like he, he would like he there was like a secret door in his crib and he'll go in there and like, I mess re- with them. I forgot. I really watched him. Then I just it just left my mind, bro. That junk's crazy. Like you know, it's based off a true story. Yeah. right? Yeah. Like he was just being. I think he was getting letters. Yeah, he was getting letters. All of that shit to mm-hmm. his fucking crib, right? Yep. Every every couple months. Did anybody die? Nobody died. He was just somebody oh, just kept watching. Then the I think it was like the 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 neighbor that was on his dick. Yeah. Died and then I don't know what just came back. Just came back. Yeah. It, it, yo, it's a crazy show because they really made Westfield look like a bunch of freaking cult members, bro. But you, yo, think about it. You know how Westfield is, bro. It was crazy. I was just there the other day too for uh, a root canal. Really? How yeah. was the root canal? Just... Bro, that shit was painless, bro. Oh, okay, that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, that shit was good, bro. That shit was actually cool. Fucking my dentist was like, yo, what music you listen to? I was like, he like, what kind of old school music you like? I was like, yeah, I like some Lionel Richie. He's like, so why? Just put some Lionel Richie off of him. That's tough. That's I was tough. Like, all right. But that shit is hella suburban and hella, uh, hella white, bro. Ominous. Yeah, bro. You never know, man. You never know. See but, now, see now that I know that, that 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 shit is out there. If I go back out there, I, I want to look for that crib, bro. I do too. That crib is probably still out there. No, it is. It's still. There. I'm assuming it's not haunted. It's just no. It's not. It's just it's somebody the neighbors and the somebody's tormenting them. I don't know who it is. Somebody's just watching that crib. You think the person? Hold. You think the person that was tormenting the guy? You gotta have a vendetta against him. No, nah, I think they just love the house and they just want to torment anybody who lives in that house because they like it so much. You know, people just freaking weird, bro. You never know. What you looking up? You looking up the freaking house? Yeah, the Watchers. The Watchers, bro. I'm about to watch that shit again, bro. I'm about to watch that X Men movie again, X Men show again. Cause I, I like I, there was a spree. I was going, oh shoot, watching the uh old X Men X Men movie. Bro, the best one, bro. What is uh well besides that booty ass part, I like Origins, bro. I that Origins booty part talking about Lily with Deadpool when they did that bullshit. Oh like, yeah, when they he just he just look at him. <laughs> that shit's so trash. But you like that one? That one I like um, Logan. That shit was so good. Bro. Logan was good. You like First Class? Um, I don't remember all of them like that. Like I ain't gonna hold you. I don't remember the. I don't think I remember watched the Apocalypse one. That was okay. That was okay. The the Logan, that one was trash. But then they bring Logan into that shit from mm. a different. Yeah. A different, different universe. It was like a Logan where he was like freaking like under control, like under control. Like that, bro. They they treat him like a freaking animal. No, I was talking about the the best one was Loki. Um, Days of Futures Past, of the newer ones. That's the one the one he went back in time when Lo, when a uh, Wolverine went back in time to go save uh, the thing. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they need to do a new version of what X Men now, bro. I mean, hey, you, you're gonna need to. You're gonna need to do another Wolverine, I think. I don't think Hugh Jackson could do this shit forever. No, he's freaking old, bro. He's he's done. I think he's like in the sixties. Yeah, just let him let him ride out to the sunset, bro. You already did that, Logan. Just let him do that again, bro. Well, now he gotta do Deadpool. So now niggas gotta see if you're going. They gotta because they, they gotta have a post credit scene for that shit. They'll so. probably find they'll they'll probably find a way. They'll find a way to find a Leon because because now you over here introducing the Fantastic Four. Yeah. And you know Galactus is gonna be in there, right? Yeah, they they took out uh, Kang because of what's his name. Galactus is gonna be in there. I wonder if they're gonna introduce Doom. I think so. They, I mean, they're probably going to, but now I don't know how long that's gonna take. Oh, they talking about a uh, a female Silver Surfer? Yeah, it was the girl from uh, Ozarks. You ever watch Ozarks? Oh, no, nah. it's a show on Netflix where they talk about money laundering. It's actually a pretty good show. It was is that one really of, a thing? I guess she is a thing. Yeah. She was a good actor. I like no, her. No, no, no. Lady Silver Surfer is actually... Is actually yeah, it's an actual thing. I remember they was talking about... They was talking about Silver Surfer. There's like a universe where she was a girl. So I guess that's what they're going into. Trash. Hey, bro. It's diversity. Fuck out of here. <laughs> but you got anything else you want to talk about, brother? I mean... You want to say one last word to the people before I end it? We know regular, but we regular. And baby on the way. <laughs> Good wise words from Mr. Spooji, bro. But thank you again for pulling up for another podcast, my Same. brother. You know what I'm saying? More podcasts coming soon. Thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast. Episode Yo, number. if y'all really want us to go to Vermont, please comment that shit. Don't comment it. 
Please call me. I'm so ready for that, actually. I'm not. I was just kidding. Well, it's a three-hour drive from us. We can definitely do it. We can make it out in a day. I was just kidding. But thank you again for tuning in to another episode of No Race Podcast, episode number 140. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment, like, post notifications, send to a friend, all that good stuff. Follow us on Patreon. Shout out to everybody that follows us on Patreon. You guys, there's a new episode coming out this week, so tune into the Patreon. And shout out to our sponsors at SeatGeek. Like I said, if you are new to SeatGeek, if y'all want to buy some tickets to some sporting events, some concerts, Ken Carson coming out, some uh, musical festivals. When's Rolling Loud coming out? Like, a, <laughs> like I months? Know. I don't even know, bro. Well, they, when they, they just did California, so that maybe the next one might be Miami. Well, when if y'all want to go to Rolling Loud, go to Seat Geek. You know, use code no regulars, all caps, N O R E G U L A R S at checkout will save you twenty dollars on any order over fifty bucks, bro. Come on, people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Anything you spend gonna be over fifty, regardless. So regardless, so you might as well just get an extra twenty off. Take bro. that twenty off for us, bro. If you really mess with us, bro, we love y'all, man. We different than regular records, man. Gangster. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it.